Testing, testing. Oh, you're working now. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Uchi, and um, back again. Once again, yeah, that was at you. As you can tell, I am a little upset right now. Even though my shirt says swag is on full, I feel like it's on E. Because if you haven't noticed, there is no reaction video for episode 59 of Dragon Ball Super. Are you f kidding me? As you can see here, there's a nice little thumbnail that would have been used. But unfortunately, this happened. There was no audio recorded for my end of that episode reaction. So, very annoyed at that. Annoyed that this thing didn't want to register for whatever reason. Now we're back online and we're back again once again. But instead of not releasing anything related to episode 59, since that is that has been a staple part of my consistency within the channel, why not just kind of talk about it and give my thoughts as opposed to not doing anything at all. So without a further ado, let's just quickly go over everything that's happened in 59 and I'll give you guys what I think just like I normally do at the end of the reaction videos. So basically what happened this episode was obviously the pursuit of Zamasu trying to kill Goasu. So we saw in the last episode that he gave him some tea and you know that green juice, I don't even know. We obviously, everyone was predicting that, oh there's probably some poison in there, but uh, this time around it wasn't that predictable. So what happens is he gives him the tea, there's no, there's nothing in the tea, the tea's fine actually. Goku and company were there. But then they decide to leave to kind of make it look like, oh, like, you know, we're going to just basically let you do what you're trying to do. Goku and them were watching via Whis's Uvu technology and Zamasu actually kills Goasu. But he reverses the time and we'll get into that afterwards. In another instance, Zamasu and Black are discussing their Zero Humans plan, which we'll also talk about later. Vegeta was then seen before we see Trunks versus Trunks scenario. Now, this was something I was not expecting to see at all. We see the two Trunks kind of face off but we'll talk about that and you'll see why zamasu is framed in his plan to destroying the humans with black goku and this is when we reversed the time they actually went right back into where they just were which was at their like place basically framed them and then beerus actually steps in and takes out zamasu with one blow via destruction now i did shout out d1 in that part of the episode because I was not expecting Beerus to even do what he did and when he did it he was he said destruction in Japanese so I thought hey man that's D1's word that was kind of cool but the thing was it was kind of weird because they say he took him out with one blow but normally when you say you take someone out with one blow you're kind of referring to like a punch or a kick or something along those lines this man evaporated into thin air like he turned into like particles, dust, whatever you want to call it. He like, he faded away, essentially. So, I don't really think that's a blow. And after this, Goku and company go back to Earth. Basically, they're just talking about how like, oh, like Trunks' future is now okay. Beerus ensures that Trunks' future is back to normal. And I quote, when one god exterminates another, it's gotta affect the time stream. But I don't really think that this is the case, and obviously I am proven right within the preview trailer. The next episode is actually titled, Back to the Future, Goku Black's True Identity Revealed. Now, I'm actually really looking forward to this episode. I'm really anticipating what may come to be from this episode. I'm really looking forward to seeing who Black Goku really is because it seems like he was just a wish from the Super Dragon Balls. I don't know if Zamasu actually went ahead and made two wishes with the Super Dragon Balls since he already did make a wish for his perfect body or his immortal body, however you want to put it undying body as he likes to put it in the preview we are shown that they obviously do go back to trunks's time to check on it zamasu and black are seen so obviously zamasu is not dead even though beerus did destroy him he is still here and he is I hate to say this back again once again and we are also given the the fight of Vegeta and Black. So they're going to duke it out in this episode. My thoughts on everything, the Zero Humans plan, 
They said that it would take the power of the humans to succeed in the Zero Humans plan. I don't know what the hell that's even supposed to mean, but obviously they are trying to eradicate all the humans. There's that. And it's probably more along the lines of Zamasu, because Zamasu does say that he's only following what he's been taught to do, and that's to like protect. But then he's looking at it from his own idealistic view of maybe trying to take a stab at the humans saying that they're the ones that are destructive and they're the ones that are destroying their own earth it probably could be something along those lines i wouldn't be surprised if it was because i mean why would akai want to go about doing something like that the whole scenario between trunks versus trunks now like i said i was not expecting this to ever happen because kid trunks why would you ever want to fight yourself being the older more handsome more godlike trunks all right this is the trunks that we all love all right we only like the little trunks because we get go tanks but no no no, no. I'll, I'll put i'll put all that at the side trunks period is great but the reason why they face off is because future trunks was in a slump thinking like man i sh i need to be doing something for my time i want to take care of my i gotta look out for her and the rest of the people that are back there waiting for me and stuff and here i am doing nothing whatever something like that and kid trunks is pretty much like you call yourself me are you really me you ain't shit. you a bitch. you know he basically calls him out like that and then he even goes super sam and punches trunks in the face which i thought was freaking i was like oh not expecting this but it was cool because then future trunks actually when he got hit he actually smiled afterwards it was funny because he's like it's funny how it took myself to realize that there is hope and all this kind of good good happy go lucky stuff but looking ahead at the future saying that he is going to make a difference so he thanked trunks and that was kind of cool little moment but it wasn't the actual fight that you would expect or want to see looking ahead at, at the next episode episode 60 i really think this uh, next episode is going to be really good like i said it is back to the future goku black's true identity revealed so let's hope that this episode title is not misleading and it's not one of those episodes where they say in the title what's going to happen and it doesn't happen i really think that vegeta fighting goku black first is not a bad idea because i might soften him up a little bit for goku and then maybe for trunks to maybe finish him off i don't know will trunks ascend well i don't really think so at this point at least not on the godly level and if he did that'd be awesome and crazy because it kind of goes against all of the logistics behind transforming up to that god saiyan level especially since i almost forgot about this i thought how could Trunks go Super Saiyan God? Not blue, but God. Because we are told that Vegeta was trained via Whis to obtain the Super Saiyan Blue level. So with that being said, he did not need the ceremony, which people are already forgetting. Super Saiyan God required a ceremony of five Saiyans. And if you do the math, there's only three. When you go into the future, there's only three. There's Trunks, Goku, and Vegeta. That right there kind of... It's out of the picture, out of the freaking memory banks that get that idea out of your head because that can't even happen. So I'm thinking, I'm looking back to the comments that people have been saying under my other videos. saying Some people saying it's impossible. I don't think it's impossible because all he needed to do was train with Whis if that's exactly what he needed to do. But at this point in time, I really don't think it's going to happen. It'd be very nice, but it's not going to happen. Maybe we'll see Trunks go Super Saiyan 3. And they did say that when Trunks was Super Saiyan 2... He was like really strong and he basically matched up against Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I'm not sure if I'm getting that all properly, but something along those lines was definitely stated. And the fact that if Trunks go Super Saiyan 3, he'll pretty much be closer to their strength. Obviously, it's like Blue and 3 are here, but you know what? My man Trunks might be a little bit up, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't, you can't sleep on Trunks. But with that being said, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter. Let me know your thoughts about episode 59. If you haven't seen it already, definitely go check it out. Looking forward to episode 60. This has been your boy Uchi, and I'm out of here.